a lower staccate uh, than the previous version, lighter. I already like the Boston 12. Let's check it out. They banished me never to be seen To a place where the air's always filled with screams So hot that the land only grows weeds A place filled with demons and ghosts tumbleweeds Betrayed by some comrades at two brute I might get you all back It's not if, no, it's when Better watch out cause I'm coming for revenge I'm a train art, I'm a go far I will learn with every new score If you like this content, please smash the like button here below and subscribe if you haven't yet, so you won't miss any new content. Thanks for your support. As usual, let's start with the specs, then moving on with the house or mid store and upper, and finally my conclusions. A bit lighter than the previous version, I guess because the low stockade. It has a lower drop of 6.5 mm, in the previous version was 8.5 mm. The font used is the Light Strike Pro, which is light, comfortable and very bouncy and the new Light Strike 2.0 which is softer than the normal Light Strike. It has uh, energy rods now in carbon instead of uh, carbon infused fiberglass and they run the whole length of the shoe for a better response and stability. Outsole now! The Continental rubber in the outsole, it doesn't feel so thick and uh, rigid underneath your foot. Um, yeah, the grip looks pretty good. The pattern design is pretty similar to the previous version, so I guess we can estimate at least 400 kilometers. Easy. There's plenty of rubber materials in the also, maybe even too much, but uh, despite that, it's still flexible, so I should great flexibility. So I like it. Midsole now. The midsole has a total different design uh, uh, and also the form is different, Light Strike 2.0 uh, more softer than the uh, normal Light Strike not that much but still uh, you can feel it especially in the heel uh, for the heel strikers yeah it has a different design also it has uh, different energy rods uh, this time in carbon and uh, uh, the uh, plate in the heel uh, has been removed and it is only one piece. Therefore it gives you the feeling of uh, more stability and also it is more responsive in my opinion. On top of that the stacket is lower so first time I see to go in the right direction you know uh, I like to, to run in lower stacket shoes so also the drop is different uh, uh, than the previous one uh, it's two millimeters less if I'm not mistaken uh, therefore the feeling is different, it's much better, um, especially for fast pace. About the running dynamics collected at 7 different running paces from 1 to 7, which is the fastest test. The main difference with the previous version uh, is the vertical oscillation ratio, which uh, seems lower in the Boston 12 uh, at the fastest paces, uh, so the shoe tends to propel you more forward than up, while the response looks better uh, as well uh, than the previous version so well done. This behave is most likely due to the less foam and cushioning, uh, the low stockade and the new energy rods uh, which make this version more efficient than the previous one and responsive as well. I haven't felt the Light Strike Pro in the forefoot too much but instead I felt the energy rods like in the previous version especially when I run faster I felt the rigidity of the rods in my uh, forefoot not in the heel. But on the other hand, uh, the new carbon energy rods are more flexible than the previous one uh, in uh, fiberglass uh, uh, infused carbon. Upper now! The upper is totally different as well, so different mesh, uh, different shape, uh, also no that much upper material on top uh, like in the previous version. Uh, much more room in the forefoot, uh, so in terms of sides, it might be that half sides less could fit better. In terms of fit, so I would not say that there is an improvement, at least in my opinion. Uh, I like more the previous version. It has also different uh, placing systems. Luckily, it's not with the rings, but it's a, a new concept, an interesting concept. I found very solid, at least so far. So, very well done. And in terms of tongue, it's a gesseden tongue. 
the only difference with the previous one that uh, um, the internal uh, rubber use looks like to be less breathable than in the previous version as you can see from the photos here so in this regard the tank is okay it's thin there's no too much rubber it doesn't uh, annoy the foot but it looks like to be not that breathable like the previous version the laces unfortunately are the thinner ones uh, i prefer the traditional one the heel counter is slightly thinner than the previous version but still ensure a good lockdown I believe that in the previous version, the lockdown, at least what I felt today, is slightly better. Even though in this version, uh, there is uh, a better padding inside. In comparison to the previous version, this upper has a less uh, upper material to ensure stability and uh, fit, but also in terms of durability. So I estimate that this upper will last uh, less than the previous version. So in conclusion, is a shoe that you can use uh, for different trainings. Uh, I believe it fits better with uh, faster trainings like the tempo run and uh, interval trainings. Of course, you can use it also for easy run. I use for different easy run during these days, and uh, yeah, my pace is for 40, uh, for 50 for easy runs, and it was okay. But of course, it's better when you run faster uh, because it's more dynamic uh, and also. Yeah, I believe it's uh, better to uh, land in the forefoot and not uh, in the heel, so it's not that suggested for heel strikers, in my opinion. But uh, it is more <coughs> stable to uh, land in the forefoot, uh, uh, so basically when you run faster. Yeah, consider that you can use this shoe for different trainings, I believe uh, still a good value for money, uh, but I'm sure uh, Adidas will deliver different discounts uh, soon uh, available in the market so of course you can even use it for racing for long distances like uh, half marathon or marathon uh, I would not use for short distances like 5k 10k and for sure is not my favorite racer so mostly I would suggest it for trainings yeah tempo run interval trainings so, as always guys was a lot of fun to try this new version uh, to share my thoughts with you and uh, as always thanks for watching and till the next time keep running <clears throat> ice in my veins i've been driving this train is in this lane, there's no stop in this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say